in rural America, and most especially in rural Kentucky, the inappropriate use of controlled substances, particularly opioids, has exploded. There are few of any families that haven't been impacted by some family member fallen prey to opioid use disorder and um, its impact both on those individual families and on public health is dramatic. My marine son um, overdosed in November of 2015. I was at his funeral and I had about 50 different people whisper in my ear that they were struggling with the same issue in their own home, people that I had no clue. I realized what a huge problem we had in our community. I've been affected by opiate use disorder in every aspect of my life. Um, I have lost my family members, I've lost my child at times, um, I was in prison, I've lost my job, I've lost pretty much everything I had at one time because of addiction. Individuals who uh, are drug addicts tend to stay in the shadows. It's not something that you want your family and, and the people around you to know about necessarily. Oftentimes to get into a treatment facility the waiting list is very long and if you happen not to have insurance, which a significant number of, of drug addicts wouldn't have, the expense is very great. The importance of the legal system the public health system and the private health system all working in unity to try to move in a positive direction to solve this problem is crucial. In each of our 10 counties in our district we've completed community health assessments and without fail uh, one of the top uh, issues in all cases is, is drug abuse. Since it's part of our mission to try to prevent illness and promote health we want to address that. Since we don't get a lot of funding in that regard, we seek out grant funds. The Rural Health Opioid Program is a grant funded program that the Lake Cumberland uh, District Health Department was awarded to provide education to community members, to substance users, and to healthcare providers and throughout our district. We will also be providing some case management to inmates um, in the seven local detention centers. We will be able to help them get reestablished, re hopefully in their communities, um, by working with them and providing case management services. As we identified drug problems as a major issue in our communities, we started seeking out uh, community partners to work with. The drug court seemed like a logical place. There's a tremendous number of people that goes through the legal system who have drug-related issues. The criminal justice system is at the center of the storm that is this national crisis right now. It's also one of the places where we can have the greatest impact in trying to reduce uh, the effects of some of those problems. As a result of contact and, and a cooperative effort with the health department, what we're able to do is about every 90 days, bring in a team from the health department who provides educational services to all those who are involved in the drug court setting. And then, should those individuals desire, they can undergo a confidential screening uh, for HIV and hepatitis C. And if they should test positive, then they're steered towards uh, additional confirmation testing and appropriate treatment. Since October of last year, we've had right around 100 people who have uh, received the education provided by the health department. Another thing that's going on in our community to address the uh, opioid issue is the syringe exchange program. The goal is to get dirty needles off the street. Most people think syringe exchange program is strictly to do with needles and exchanging dirty for clean needles when it's actually so much more. It's education to the patients, it's wound care, it's also uh, HIV and hepatitis C testing, as well as referrals for treatment options and referrals for other services. Another goal of the RHOP grant is to uh, provide community education. Stigma makes it more difficult for people to uh, feel comfortable going to treatment or identifying as a drug user. So if you can teach people to be a little more tolerant, a little more supportive, that's helpful. We have a huge problem. It's only going to get better if we come together and say, hey, we have to stop this. We have to help people get into treatment. We have to help quit looking at people negatively. We have to help them get jobs. We have to help them in every aspect of recovery. Since Darius's death, I felt 
that it would make the biggest impact to reach out to the children in our community. We actually speak with the kids K through 12. We go in and we talk about drug use and abuse. We talk about the importance of just that one time and that no one ever sets out to use a needle. The Lake Cumberland Health Department is really backing up everything that um, we have noticed being obstacles in our community with resources, so they've really picked it up and tried to fill in those gaps. The RHOP will start October 2017, and it's a three-year grant, and it will end uh, the end of September in 2020. Our hopes as far as long-term impact of the RHOP grant is to prevent people from beginning using opioids, to support recovering addicts who are getting out of jail, and to do uh, screening. This disease does not discriminate. You may think that it won't happen to your child because I was one of those people. And it comes in like a whirlwind and the ending is never good. If you have someone who's suffering with addiction, we wanna help. 